What's up guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today, we're gonna do an installation of our Minn Kota Shallow Water Anchor Talon Anchor Light. And it's important to note that this one is going on the Minn Kota Talon with the work light up there. So, pop this bad boy out of the box and show you how easy and simple this is. So, first thing first, take the plastic stuff off. You got two clips in there. I'm gonna throw those to the side for right now. Not needed right now. One, two. Take the plastic off and toss that. Won't need that. So what's important to note here, this is literally gonna snap right on the existing cap for the talent. We have one groove on the side and one groove on this side. That's to run your wiring. So kind of have to need to figure out uh, which side you want to run your wiring on and it'll go through the channel on the talon. On this one here, we're actually going to run it on the outside of this channel right here. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to slide this cap on after we snake our wire through. Now, sometimes you will have to trim this piece here. This one actually happens to be long enough that we don't need to trim it. Another thing you can also do is you can take the side cover off and run your wiring behind. For this one, it's not really going to matter. So we're actually going to run our wire on the outside and run back in the groove to get it into the boat. So you may have to loosen this top right here. So what I'm going to do is actually take it off. I'm not going to disconnect the wires. Be very careful underneath there because your wiring for your anchor light is on the very front, so you can't really pull it up too far. I'm going to lift that up. Get our wire fed through. All right, now we got that fed through. I'm going to put this back down. And then again, we're gonna take that groove that we talked about right there on the side. We're gonna put our wire in there. We're gonna come in from the back side and push that down and on. So wire's in the groove there. All right, I'm gonna bring our wire down and around. These are the factory wire clips. So all we're gonna do is remove those I'm gonna push our wire in right here and get it in place and put the factory clips back in. Now, if you do run your wiring on the inside, again, we didn't on this one, we ran it on the outside, but if you do choose to run your wiring on the inside, this is where you use those two clips that are included to be able to simply push in, rotate, hold your wiring in place. And the reason we didn't run our wiring on the inside is this one here has the kickstands because these have the flip down mounts on here as well too. So I didn't want to interfere with the kickstand bracing at all. That's why we went on the outside of this one. We're basically following the power wire down is out is what we're doing. So now we got that there. Take our wiring here. We're gonna come back in and I'm gonna zip tie our wiring here to make it look all nice and pretty. All right, now we got our zip ties on there. We're just gonna come back and snip these ends off. All right, next up, we've gotta remove our rear 
anchor receptacles. Take these screws out. All right, now this is the wiring here that we're looking to splice into. So black's gonna be our ground, our white's gonna be our hot. So next we're gonna put our wire through the rigging sleeve here. And then we may have to open our back compartment here to get it to snake out right here. What we're gonna do is take that wire and we're gonna splice into it, so. And how we're gonna splice into that is we're gonna make it to where we can still use the rear receptacle or the anchor light on the boat itself. So if that thing gets broken on the garage door in the morning or a tree branch or something while you're fishing, you can still put your manual pull light back in here and it'll still work no problem when you got your navigation or your anchor light on. All right guys, so we got our anchor light wire pulled through. We're gonna take that sheathing off here. You'll see we got red and black. There we go. All right, so we got red and black. So the black's gonna be our ground, the red's gonna be our hot, so it'll actually go black to black and red to white on these wires here. Now, one thing I will say, this is the factory wiring, not soldered. I don't like having multiple connections in a line. I think it's just another area where it can fail. So we're gonna crimp these old things out of here and just eliminate them completely. Now, again, keep in mind, even though these are both black, this one went to our white right here. So I'm gonna strip that one. I'm gonna cut this one. Strip our white one. Now, the reason I'm doing it this way is I don't want to get confused here on which one's hot and which one's negative. Now, normally this would be white all the way through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and strip this. Strip that right there. So we've got our two hot leads here. We're gonna twist around each other. I'm gonna take our wire crimp put that on and crimp that down all right so that's solid not going to pull out now we're going to take our other end of our white here shove that in there and again crimp that in place so once that connection's rock solid, then we'll come in here, take our ground wire, eliminate that connection there. And then next up, we'll have to put those two ground wires together. And again, the reason why we're doing this is so you still have the use of the rear light receptacle so you can still use your pull anchor light as well, if necessary. Take those two wires together, twist those up, Crimp that in. Next, we will take our heat gun and just melt our wire in here. All right, once we got that done, before I put that back in, we're gonna come up here, make sure our power is on, master power and our light is on.
Now that we know we're good, we can come back down here, put our receptacle back, and also too, just for measure, I always like to grab the rear anchor light, go ahead and put the rear factory anchor light in just to make sure it's still functioning as well too. And then we are done. Pick up our mess and throw our trash away. So, guys, pretty basic installation on here. Not too terrible at all. We designed it to be fairly easy. Just wanted to showcase a video to show you guys how easy it is, and more importantly, how to splice in the wiring in the back so your rear receptacle still has power. Works out great for you guys using like a Yolo Tech mount or something like that so you can have a powered GoPro as well too. So be sure to check these out, see some other installation videos here on our YouTube channel, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, you can pick this up for $89.95 on our website at russellmarineproducts.com.